This is a communique from terrorist leader Giorgio. <laughs> All right, so there are these um, there are these articles on the Atlantic. Uh, the battle over Adult Swim's alt right TV show, and the things fucking you know six pages long of of speculation and trying to tie one thing to another based on. So apparently, Sam Hyde liked something on Twitter. His Twitter likes suggest that he's <laughs> a neo-Nazi. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. Listen, I could go through this article and the other ones on BuzzFeed and go through point by point and refute all the stupid little gossipy things they have to say. But I really, I don't even, I don't care enough to do that. But there's one thing, this, this perked my interest, this peaked, my ears went up <laughs> when I saw this. Where is it? Um, okay. According to Bernstein, Adult Swim's standards department have repeatedly found coded racial messages, including swastikas. We put swastikas in the show? That were removed before, when they were found, they were, first of all, the the guy checking that shit at Adult Swim is Jewish. We're not going to, we're not going to go on our first TV show and hide swastikas in it uh, and get fired right away. Like, why would we do, why would we even risk that? Why is that funny? How is that funny? How is that a good idea? That's fucking retarded. That is a bald-faced Lie. That is a 100% fabrication. That is a fake thing. There are no fucking swastikas or coded racial messages in the, in the show that were removed. You made that up. You made that up, you piece of shit. That's all. But yeah. This... <clears throat> I mean, here's the thing about it. This guy Bernstein... He's, he had all the white privilege in the world, okay? He had rich parents. He went to a good school. He probably went to some all-white private school, okay? Typical privileged white guy, all right? And what's he do with it? He goes to New York City and gets a job at BuzzFeed. And so his, his life is just devoid of all meaning. BuzzFeed puts out 400 articles per day, and there, it's, there's no, there's nothing to it. It's just a site that's, the, it's like the most hollow premise for a website ever. He needs something to do. And so he's decided that he's going to fabricate. He's going to like make it seem like we're super racist or something. It's a fucking comedy show. Comedians have been doing this for decades. Why is this <laughs> newsworthy? He thinks he he thinks he's going to become a hero. He's I, there. He made some Twitter post that was like, um, on Twitter he said like this is this is my fight. I think this is what I can really do or something like that. Like he thinks he thinks he's going to take our comedy show, which is just it's just supposed to be funny. That's all it is. It's just a funny show. He thinks he's going to take it and like elevate it to some this like social battle, and he's going to be a martyr and sacrifice and be the hero of the. A hero of oppressed people. You're picking on a comedy show. That's what you're doing. That's re wow, really impressive. You really, you really threw yourself into the um, the gears of uh, the sick machine that uh, grinds us all to dust. What you did, Joe Bernstein, really took a lot of heart. And I don't even, I don't even care if he wants to get a dopamine rush. Of feeling like a good person by like talking about how uh, our jokes go over the edge, whatever. That's fine. But saying that saying that we hid coded racial messages and swastikas in the show is first of all retarded. Why would we do that? That makes zero fucking sense. It's our first TV show. We're nervous as shit. We don't want to get kicked off. <laughs> I got a good idea. Let's put a swastika in there. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. The guy checking it's Jewish. Why would we do that? Um, that's a complete 
That's a complete fabrication. That's not a real thing. That's a fake thing that he made up. If you have to make shit up in your battle for, um, in, in your progressive social battle, if you have to make shit up, you have, you're admitting that you lose the battle of ideas. You're admitting that your ideas aren't good enough to, to do combat on their own. You have to supplement them with, like, uh, putting a swastika on, on your own door and claiming someone else put it there. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a fucking liar, dude. Prove it. If, so, if you can prove it, I'll put up money. I'll put up $5,000 right now. If you, can prove, if you can prove that there were coded racial messages, coded racial messages and swastikas that were uh, removed before showing, I'll, I'll pay you $5,000. How's that? You're not going to be able to do it, though, because you're a liar. You made it up. You're dumb. <clears throat> ah, Bernstein, I'm here for the interview. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I think he's funny. I went to school with a lot of people like that because I had a lot of white privilege and I went to a lot of all white white privilege because he's white, a lot of white privilege schools. So I know people like this. And I think he's funny. I don't have I don't think he's like a terrible I mean he's kinda he probably is a terrible person, but I don't dislike him or hate him. I think he's funny. He's like a cute little weasel guy. Hi! I need attention. I want attention. I want to lie. Mm. Oh, so it seems like you are, um, I know something about you. You put swastikas in the show. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> he's in Brooklyn right now doing exactly that. That's like not even an impression. It's what he's exactly doing. Bernstein. Bernstein, Bernstein, Bernstein. You guys, because here's the thing, I'm not even, I'm not even mad, you're just wasting time, because the thing is, I'm, there, there are certain Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein, I'm not that political, and there are certain um, pieces of the left platform, the Bernie Stein, Jill, the Bernie Stein, Bernie Stein platform that I sympathize with. I'm being serious. I don't, I don't begrudge anybody for um, supporting Bernie Sanders or or voting third party or whatever. I'm not that political. And Trump is a, in a lot of ways, he's a centrist. Um, he's like a '90s Democrat in some ways. He's not. He gets he get, he got shit on early on for not being a true conservative. And this, this stuff, I don't really care about all this stuff. Um, and so the sad thing, the sad thing is that the good parts, the good parts of the left are going to get flushed down the toilet because leftists are continuing to uh, put the pedal to the metal with this f hoaxing shit. Like, c c crying racism when there's no racism. Saying that we put swastikas in our show. That doesn't... That doesn't help you. That does not help your side in the long run. That gets you attention and clicks and help for, like, two months. Or, like, two weeks. People will be going, oh, oh, they were, ra they were racist towards you? Oh, they're bad guys. But the thing is, you keep piling this on. This is why CNN has no... People don't trust CNN anymore. You keep piling this on, and eventually people get wise to the fact that you're crying wolf, and you're saying that some things, some things are racist when they're not. And so when something finally comes around that is racist, nobody's going to help you. Nobody cares. Stop lying. Stop doing this bullshit. If you're a leftist, I, sh I don't want to help you out, but here's here are some strategy. This is some... You should pay me for giving you this strategy, okay? This is my these are my strategy points. You have to dial back the anti-white rhetoric, okay? White people are not going to 
white people will listen to a point. All right, you tell us, you tell us that um, uh, we have privilege, and, and you'll get you'll get you know forty percent of our income. Like, there's a point. A point will come when we stop enjoying the the guilt, the dopamine rush of feeling like good people, and we just tell you to shut up. <laughs> like, you've got to stop the anti-white rhetoric, and you've got to rebuild the the, the Democratic Party. You can't <clears throat> you can't have third world style corruption if your if your goal is to really actually be progressive and bring about a better future. You can't have this this um, incestuous corruption that looks like something out of Central or South America, like the the um, <clears throat> the the way they steamrolled Bernie Sanders and the and the fact that you can go in the WikiLeaks emails and read exactly what they did and, and their um, commentary as they did it. I mean, this is unprecedented. This is. Um, it's it's crazy. It's insane, and it's insane that people still supported this criminal who um, took the uh, took the position there. That's insane. You have to destroy your party and rebuild it. You have to do what Trump did, which is destroy his party. You got to drain your own swamp. That's my strategy for leftists right now. That's free advice. Okay, but um. Bernstein, stop making shit up. You probably could have a leg to stand on if you wanted to complain that the comedy is insensitive or whatever, but you have to get rid of the hyperbole. You have to stop saying, like, you, you can't try to tie us to the KKK, because that's crazy. People, anybody with half a brain is going to read that and, and say, you're a fucking retard. You're writing retarded gasoline fume. You're huffing gasoline fumes right now. <laughs> Don't huff gasoline fumes before you write your little hit pieces, man. <clears throat> okay. Eh, we won. <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe it? Hey, guys, can you believe it? <laughs> who won the election? Hey, I've been away for a while. Does anyone know who won the election? What? Who won the election? I didn't catch the news. Who was it? Oh! <laughs> Donald Trump has a 1% chance of winning at this point. There's no path to victory for Donald Trump. <laughs> and I bet money, I bet money I made less money. <laughs> <clears throat> I made lots of money. But don't worry, I'm not living in lavish luxury because I spent the money on a printing for the book. This one is signed. This is the first printed copy signed by the squad. In it, you will find zero racism. There's no racism in this book. This is a book of peace. Bah. Oh, it's full of love and understanding. See? This book is going to... When this comes out, I think I think Bernstein's going to apologize. He's going to say, Wow, I didn't realize you guys were so understanding. Wow. There's Muslim Barbie. I'm sure someone's made that joke, but I drew this... Or I, I came up with that idea like three years ago, so... I came up with it first. <clears throat> Stop, or I'll shoot. Man, this book's good. It's gonna be good. Hey, it's good. Oh, look at those juicy pages. This thing's an art piece. Not a fart piece. It's an art piece. This thing's fucking good, man. I would read this, and I don't even read. I don't even know how to read. I would learn how to read specifically for this. Whoa, what? We outline the plan. Oh, shit. Yo. 
Hey, Chief. Are you awake now? No, I'm awake. Yo, can I, can I go to AT&T for like 20 minutes really quick? You want, a, you want my permission? Yeah, can I? You need the car? I need the car. You can take the bike. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you can. I'll be quick. Yeah. Whoa. Oof. This book is something else. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, dude. I'll tell you what, dude. This book is something else. And see, he's half Latino. I didn't have to say any jokes about it. But he's Latinx. Hey, he's Latinx. Oh. Uh, oh. On there. On there. Here's a question. Should I make a new channel called Hide Wars and do a 20-minute rambling vlog every day? Not polished, not funny. The purpose being uh, that I've started li I started listening to people like Sticks Hexenhammer, Stefan Molyneux. I understand the ASMR value of listening to someone with Asperger's talk. For 20 minutes would you like that or no okay and listen that's all that's all I have to say um. <laughs> we won <laughs> ah, we won <laughs> Uh, we won. Okay? We won. Okay? Alright, we won. Alright. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, Donald Trump's your new president for the next eight years. <laughs> you don't like it? Fucking, oh my god, man. Dumb, blind dummies. We're not gonna, t we're not gonna just t lay down and take this. We're gonna spend the next four years fighting this. No, you're gonna spend the next eight years dealing with it. And enjoying it. Because you are enjoying that. And you are enjoying that. No, man, we're gonna spend the next eight years fighting this. We're gonna fight the power. You're gonna spend the next eight years enjoying it. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut myself. Uh, uh. <laughs> cut yourself for her. Uh. Oh man, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so much fun. It's fun to win. It's fun to win every once in a while. Yeah. On a serious note. If, if there are any people, peeps, as we call them, peeps, who are politically on the left, who have not been purged from this fan base, uh, first of all, I say hello, I do not, I do not begrudge you your beliefs, especially anyone who used the powers of critical thinking and reason to arrive at those beliefs as opposed to TV talking points. I don't harbor a grudge towards you, and I wish you the best. Please please take my advice about rebuilding the uh, DNC or throwing your support behind your third-party candidate of choice. Um, become, become a party of transparency, uh, and not a party of corruption and bribery. That would be my advice to you. And don't worry too much. Trump is not going to roll back civil rights for anybody. Uh, unless you think that setting fire to cop cars is a civil right. Um, he's not going to be that bad, and you're going to make more money. You'll be able to get a job, so don't worry just stop hyperventilating, okay? And don't kill yourself. It's a serious, that is a serious piece of advice. 
Uh, I've heard there are reports of people killing themselves. If you kill yourselves because of an election, I mean, come on, man. Please don't get so dark. If there's anyone watching this right now who feels dark about this, just remember that in 50 years you'll be having VR sex with some sort of alien creature, and it won't matter. That's what I think about when it's uh, when it gets dark. All right. Do your best. Become the best version of yourself. That's follow Elliot Hulse's advice. Be the best version of yourself possible. If you uh, lift weights, that's my advice to you. I'm giving advice now because you asked for it. You asked for advice. You did. You came here. You sat down on this video. You said, hey, I need some advice. Uh, lift weights and don't touch antidepressants. Do not touch SSRIs or spe uh, methamphetamine-derived Behavioral medicines, do not touch them. Do not ever put them in your body. In your body. I was wondering what would break first. Your spirit or your body.